हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड वेलकम बैक टू निशाज आर्ट ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड हेयर आई एम विद द नेक्स्ट ड्राइंग ऑफ माइन व्हिच इज अगेन अ 3D इल्यूजन एज यू कैन सी इट्स अ इल्यूजन वॉल एंड हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक सो यू सी दिस आई हैव अ पेंसिल एंड दिस पेंसिल इज गोइंग डीपर एंड डीपर इनटू द वॉल एंड हियर इट गोस So this is an amazing 3D illusion which I used uh, long back and uh, the whole idea is I have done it black and white where only the uh, darker color pencils are used today I'll use the same concept uh, with the color pencil I will be using a shade of dark blue so the whole idea of 3D illusion is to create an illusion for for fun so i do it for fun and with fun it requires a lot of technicality so if you work on the technicalities properly you will get an absolutely perfect result so i have done it at a very small paper uh it's the 1/4 of a a4 sheet so i'm working on a small sheet because my camera settings are such that i can capture this much area nicely so the supplies we will be needing today uh, i'll be working with a colored pencil which is from faber castell i'll be working with a uh, a hp pencil 10b i'll be using my mono eraser fine one a normal eraser also and i'll be using a sketch pen or a 3d liner uh, sorry a uh, cd liner as per my choice and a ruler to define the nice and beautiful lines a regular pencil and cotton as well as earbud for shading and as i mentioned i am using an a4 sheet 1/4 in the size to do this so let's get started so i'm um, having my plain sheet here now i'm defining the margins the margins and the border the border to define i'm using the send uh, the measurement as half of this okay you can define as per your sheet size so i'm gonna i've already given some dots here on the sheet and i'm gonna just join it okay i'm gonna work here first thing first we have to define the borders so for that i'm going to just oops okay so i'm going to go here so that's my borders defined now what i'm going to do now i'm going to define the borders here nicely so this way we'll divide the borders in the boxes smaller boxes whatever measurement you want to take it's up to you so i'm going uh, just as per my choice so now i'm going to define here PD illusions are very technical things to do and uh, once you start enjoying working with it you want to explore more and more into the 3D territory so this is the borders defined okay so here is the thing either i can do the coloring in the borders right now show it to you and then work into the inside part of it so I think I should finish the outline first and then I'll start the So what I'll do is I'll just define my areas 
their box is gonna be filled with color so it's an alternate box so just to clear that i have no confusion so you see i have all the boxes as alternative ones i'm gonna fill it with color so i'm taking this dark blue shade here and i'm gonna color it with pencil shade you can use sketch pens also it is perfectly okay to use sketch pens also and um, i wanted to define the entire boxes thing with the black sketch pen but now as i've started the coloring i think i may skip that step so you see i'm defining the boxes nicely with the color color pencil and i'm filling it with the color so let me just finish this all the boxes which i have marked with my color pencil and uh, show you how it looks like after it's done completely tada so after adding the color this will look like this now let's revise the step first we define the borders whatever dimensions you feel like but make sure that you maintain the same borders same dimensions for the borders then divide the borders into boxes and fill the boxes with any color of your choice now this is the steps done till now now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to i'm going to define the inner wall so i'm taking 1.5 1.5 dimension here and i'm going to make a straight line here and i'm going to define a nice and beautiful straight line here and i'm going to just join it here okay this is my center thing which i have defined now next step is i'm going to join this line with this there is a minor extended line i'm going to erase it with my mono eraser and i'm going to join this so this is the depth of the wall which we have defined so again re revision after doing the borders we define the center part here this center part is having a i have taken a dimension as 1.5 on one side and the other side i have taken it as almost 2.2 and then i have joined a line with the one corner of the border now how we gonna work here now first thing first now we gonna make the wall and define it nicely maintaining the same gaps and that's my wall here okay now i'm going to make sure that the, this adjoining wall i will be having the same borders as this wall so i'm going to take the same point from here this point and i'm going to go and join it here again same point here and i'm going to go here same point here i'm going to go here very technical but if you follow the steps you will not get it wrong so this these are the steps done now we're going to define the walls inside so i'm going to work here and now see alternate boxes i'm going to put my lines one leave one box leave one box and like this now again here leave one box like this now come to the center box and one leave one box one and leave one box like this this is your one wall one side of the wall okay now the same way we gonna go and work on this wall now again it will be a little you see i am putting it like this because the the way we are looking at it it's it's a depth we are showing so this will be broader and this will be narrower so that's how we'll get that impression so again one box leave one box one box leave one box and like this first wall done 
वन बॉक्स ली वन बॉक्स ली वन बॉक्स एंड द सेम वे दिस वन विल गॉन अ गो अ लिटिल हियर वन बॉक्स वन बॉक्स वन बॉक्स राइट नाउ इन द सेंटर ई वन अ गो इन द सेम वे वन बॉक्स ई वन बॉक्स ई वन बॉक्स सेम वे यू कम हियर and this will come like this one box one box one box so like this you are this side of the wall is defined now what's the next step now the next step is we gonna go so this is 1.5 right i took it 1.5 inside so i'm gonna take one two three so these are the four lines are defined here now i'm gonna make boxes in this so make simple boxes and that's it now what i'm going to do is the color which i have used on the outer i'm going to fill the color here in the center boxes how i'm going to do 1 2 3 4 again i'm leaving boxes right you see this alternate go alternate right i'm going to fill this boxes with color so i'll show you one two boxes and then i'm going to just uh, finish it and show you how it will look like so this is my box and i'm going to fill this with color Nice and easy. If you're using color pencil, make sure you sharpen your pencils. Mine is getting blunt now. It's doable still. So this is how you gonna work on the boxes. Let me just finish all the boxes and uh, show you the end result. So this is how the inside of the uh, wall will look like. Now I'm gonna take my 10B pencil and I'm gonna put the shades here. I'm gonna put very nicely some dark shades here. So why dark shades here? Because this is the depth we are showing. So the far it is, the darker it is. So that's the whole logic we are using here. So a little bit going out. I'm gonna be very careful. So this is how the insides will look like. Okay, the darker shades here. We're gonna do the smudging part, but a little bit later. And now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna go very lightly onto the wall side. So you see this? I'm just putting, not fully, just I'm putting on the bottom of the wall like this nicely done now magical work starts now i'm going to take my cotton here and i'm going to just blend this nicely very light hand work and just spread it i hope you all can see the effect already started visible and this is how the whole effect will come i'm going to just darken the lines one more time uh, and this is it so this is my depth so you see i'm taking my finger here and i'm trying to go deeper and deeper into the wall and here it is so it's a very nice 3d illusion so my pencil goes and sits here but there is actually nothing here absolutely fun making it uh, do try at home uh, if you have any queries please come back to me use any shades you want uh, any type of color medium you want 
sketch pens will give a definitely a brighter look and sharper look i told that i will be using black sketch pen but i haven't um, sorry about that and uh, this is all about it thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel and till we meet the next time thank you bye bye